All right, so today's video is going to be a review on the Tokyo Marui 1911. Uh, specifically, I have the uh, the MEU from them. Um, I picked this specific model because it matches my real 45, but I believe pretty much all of the Tokyo Marui 1911s are basically the same thing, just different external appearances and stuff like that. Um, so basically, Tokyo Marui, I, I, I specifically have chosen not to really upgrade this. There's a couple changes I made, um, but they are kind of necessary. So um, I'll, I'll just go over the changes real quick right now. So basically, I changed out the grip uh, to match my real grip, basically. The different color, obviously. But um, the grip that comes on the MEU is like a gross rubbery wraparound thing. That had to go for sure, so I have a, a G10 um, grip on here from VZ Grips. And then I also changed out the front sight to a fiber optic front sight. Um, again, that is to match my real one. Um, but basically, uh, the sight that comes stock on the MEU is just a black front sight, which is impossible to see um, in a like, a like a darkly lit CQB environment. So I had to go with the fiber optic just so I could actually see what I'm shooting at. And then... Um, I did also have to change out the blowback unit. I'm going to have more on that in a little bit, but besides those things, uh, everything else on here is completely stock. All right. So this is, um, definitely a very nice pistol. Um, it is a very, very, very smooth. It's like butter pretty much. It is the, the pretty much the, probably the smoothest pistol I've ever felt. Um, High Kappas are a lot grittier than this is. I'm um, not sure exactly why, but um, there is definitely a big difference between this and a High Kappa as far as how smooth the operation is. Now, um, on Tokyo Marui 1911s, the slide is plastic and also the, the frame is plastic. There is an internal metal frame. Um, the internal metal frame is just your typical Tokyo Marui pop metal, basically. But um, all of your hardware and controls are going to be metal on this. So like your slide stop, magazine release, uh, safeties, hammer, um, all your, um, your, your bushing and all that stuff is going to be all metal. But um, the slide, the frame, and the, the outer barrel are going to be plastic. You do have licensed Novax sites. So that's a very popular brand and that's what I have on my real one. So that's part of the reason why... Um, I was excited about the Tokyo Marui because it had exactly what I what I wanted on it. And then on the MEU, you do have the stupid little uh, lanyard thing here. Um, I just ignore that. It, it doesn't get in the way for me. But if you want to put a lanyard on, um, you do have the ability to very easily right there. And then one of the things I like about the 1911s is the, uh, the pin is flush. It's not like a high kappa where it kind of divots in and then has a... Has a protruding um, pin. Uh, this is like flush to the frame, which is very nice. It, it, it feels very high quality. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got about the externals. Um, I do have aftermarket screws in here just, just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Um, these are garter screws um, that are the airsoft spec threads. Um, the threads for the screws on Tokyo Marui's are, are are different than real threads. So you cannot put real screws. You have to put airsoft screws unless you change out the threads. Now going ahead, um, I, I I will point out Tokyo Marui plastic is very soft. So I it, it did get shot with a BB right there, as you can see. It didn't break anything, but there is definitely a dent. And that is kind of annoying, but um, it doesn't cause any issues for me there. Um, And I'll just show you the inside just a little bit. So as you can see, it's metal frames in there. Um, but your typical, to like your um, your high kappa upgrade parts will all work in the back here. Um, and then same thing with the upper, pretty much high kappa parts. The blowback unit is different. Um, and I will show you this here. So the issue that I was having, the, like the main issue with this gun... Um, stock is that it just um, it runs the gas too fast so magazines are 
a lot skinnier than the high cap of magazines. It's the same amount of BBs, but your gas chamber is significantly smaller. So I was unable to get through an entire magazine of BBs with this stock. Um, so what I did to solve that issue is I put in a low power blowback unit. Um, now this is going to reduce the amount of gas that is um, expelled for every shot, which increases the gas efficiency because I'm not using extra gas. Um, now the reason this is an issue is because my compression is not good. There's almost no compression here. So basically any gas after the initial shot, um, there's gonna be a lot of extra gas that shoots out the top with a standard blowback unit. Um, with the low power blowback unit, you don't really have that. It, it kind of stops shooting out gas after it starts moving for just a very short uh, distance. And I wanna go ahead and uh, remove the blowback unit for you here. <laughs> if I can remember how to do this. Oh my gosh. Now these come with a, like a hammer pad um, that for some reason I can't remove. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. There it goes. All right, so there's my blowback unit. Now you may see there's like a whole cutout there that is not supposed to be there. Um, so on the 1911s, there's an extra cut in the blowback unit. Uh, the blowback unit's the same except for this extra cutout. That extra cutout is because the rear sight has this little notch here. And this notch has to seat inside of that cutout, like so. And obviously on a high cap, but you don't have that cutout, so it will not fit inside of the gun because of this little protrusion. Um, now, I needed to get a low power blowback unit because this is a high power blowback unit that comes with the um, with the Tokyo Marui's. So I need a low power blowback unit, like one of the edges. Um, and there, there's your difference there. So this side is where the, the gas um, basically... Uh, determines how much gas is expelled. Uh, this is uh, close to half as much as the stock one, and that's what I needed. And I, I needed about half as much gas being expelled so I could get through a whole magazine easily without having to worry about it. So I had to modify one of these. So I just took a Dremel, basically marked out um, the distance and the location, and I just Dremeled off until I got it to fit. And it fits perfectly. I don't know where my Thing went there it goes it fits perfectly i have extra space at the front but that's not a big deal as long as it fits down and there's not too much extra space the the issue you have is the spring you don't want the spring to be able to get caught anywhere inside of there um but just this low power um has done wonders uh, this is definitely a necessary upgrade you for sure need to have a low power blowback unit if you're going to be in the colder state like me especially um it's just going to increase the uh, consistency of the gun uh, by a lot. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this back together here.
And then there is a screw on the top. That's a fake screw. Don't try to unscrew that. And the magazines are going to be like your Wilson Combat Style magazines. So you have the extended base pad on here, um, which was important for me because these are the magazines that I use for my real one. So they lock in nice. Um, they do catch up here, or not catch, but they, they stop up here. So there's a block there that prevents you from over inserting the magazine. Um, because this is a plastic frame, it, it cannot work like a, like a real one would work. Because um, on real ones, the part that stops it is down here um, by catching onto uh, this. But this is plastic, so I, I assume that would be a lot of wear. So they put the stop up here. And then obviously it locks back. Um, that it, it, it really, these 1911s are pretty much already short stroked. Like you cannot really short stroke it and maintain lockback. On high kappas, you can normally add one or two short strokes and still maintain lockback. But on, the, but on this one, you, there's just not enough space to add any short strokes. It's kind of pre-short stroked out of the box, which is nice. Um, and then you do have front and rear serrations. I try to just use the rear ones because on my real one, I don't have front ones. Um, then the, the safety here, the right side is good, the left side, uh, does wiggle a little bit it's not perfect anymore but that just kind of happens no matter what on Tokyo Marui's um, but I on my real one I don't I don't even have the left side so I don't I don't worry about that I just only ever use the right side so I can practice with that but yeah I mean it's pretty nice I do like this pistol a lot um, now I only have three magazines. So if, it, if there's a large volume of players during open play, I will typically not use this um, just because I'll be limited in capacity. When I play with my other pistols, I normally have like five or six magazines. So I'd, I normally only use this if it's um, kind of a light day um, uh, for open play. Or if I really want to play and there's not a lot of experienced players, I'll grab this. Um, it only shoots about 300 feet per second. Um, the blowback unit didn't change much as far as the velocity of uh, being low power. It, it kind of just fixed my gas efficiency. Um, but yeah, about 300 feet per second. Uh, velocity is, is really not everything with Airsoft. It's more about consistency and accuracy um, and stuff like that. I find as long as you're between 250 and 350, uh, you're, you're going to be perfectly fine. Uh, 250 to 300, you might need to shoot more times than you would for 300 to 350 just because it's a a lot lower impact so people might not feel it as much but as long as it's anywhere from 250 to 350 your bbs can fly straight and they can fly far and accurately and this is definitely right in the middle about 300 feet per second is where is where mine shoots and i haven't upgraded anything at all as far as accuracy or power or anything like that so i just have all stock internals um and it's uh it's pretty great. And Tokyo Marui's generally, if you don't mess with them too much, they'll be very nice. It's when you start messing with them that you start getting a lot of issues. Um, so I I, I kind of chose to keep this one as stock as possible. I had to change out the blowback unit just because I I wasn't even getting through whole magazines um, with this stock high power blowback unit that comes with these. And the stock one is 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 pot metal, so it's a lot heavier than aluminum is anyways. So so the, the, the new blowback unit is doing two things. It is lighter weight, so it, it, it requires less force to move. And it's also expelling less gas. So it's like two different factors are increasing the efficiency just by changing out the blowback unit.
But yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't run any sort of attachments. I, I don't run a tracer. I don't run a flashlight or a laser. As you can see, I still have the orange tip on here. I'm just, uh, I, I, I basically got this to emulate my real one so I could have a training aid um, and just kind of just really get used to just using iron sights. And um, it's been pretty fun. Um, especially if it's dialed in. Um, my, I have my hop-up set perfectly. It hasn't walked. It flies very straight. So I, as long as I'm aiming good, I, I, I pretty much hit everything that I aim at. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about that. Um, have a nice day. I'm, I'm a little bit sick, so this video might not be a good video. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was useful for you. And make sure you check out uh, the link down below. Uh, that is a link to our Discord server, and you are welcome to join. All right? Have a nice day.